Hi everybody. My name is Timothy Trespass and I am a targeted individual. Here's a thought. I'm walking down the street and this woman who I've seen locally, Spanish lady, elderly, older, not elderly, older, probably my age. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no sense of how old I really am. Is walking by and I, I, you know, I noticed she's giving me this look like, like, I don't know, like I just fell off a tree, you know, <laughs> like, like she was sweeping out her cupboard and she found me in the corner, the, the dust bunny or something. It was like this, uh, you know, I don't know whether she was actually thinking about me. She may have been thinking about how bad her foot hurt. But my thought was, why are you looking at me like this? I love you. And I would save your life from death if I was capable of it. You know? I would I would go into a burning fire for you. I, I would anyway. That's just my thought. And perhaps some of this you know, I know we ain't gonna make nice with the beast, but some of these people who aren't all the way there yet. Maybe they'll respond to, uh, to love, you know, which is really hard to do when you feel like everybody is attacking you. And everywhere you look, they're there to destroy you and screw up your life and get into your life and fuck you up and take your money and drive you insane and, you know, so you're going to love them. You know, start with the easy ones. Start with the easy ones. Because uh, it's not easy. The other thing that I do that uh, seems to help me in my battle to remain a human being is I look at people, people that disturb me for some reason, and I remind myself if, of course, this wheat and tares thing is, you know, I'm not talking about that, but fellow human beings, that uh, I am you. You are me. I am that person. They are me. Think about that for a minute. You know, um, here's a story that will go along with this real briefly. Uh, one, I may have told this before, but once I was playing the guitar, um, sitting in my room, playing the same repetitive stuff over and over and over and over and over again, just practicing the fingering and the timing. And, um, excuse me. After a while my ego part of my mind, the blah, 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 part, went to sleep. And the world, my perspective changed. It was like the scales fell away from my eyes and I saw the world closer to what it really may be like, where every molecule of air was alive and shimmering and moving and every molecule of everything was interconnected as one and that I was being molecules, whatever was part of this. And it was really a startling revelation. Of course, as soon as my blah, blah, blah mind said, wow, what a startling revelation. By the time I said, what, it was gone. And I have never been able to regain that that place and no I don't think it was simply hypnotic uh, you know a hypnotic trance because I've been in those and they're nothing like this so um, you know if you start to look at quantum physics quantum entanglement and you realize that uh, you know every molecule every atom in the universe is communicating with every other atom and knows where it is and what it's doing you know, this is where quantum physics is leading us. But, uh, just a thought. You know, if it's nothing more than a thought exercise, give it a try, because it really does change your perspective. And I know for empaths, it's, it's already, uh, <laughs> you already are that person. It's not, uh, not that difficult an exercise, but it kind of keeps me you know, from feeling so separated and so different, you know?
mean, we are all different, you know, We're very, very different. Like snowflakes. Snowflakes uh, made from water molecules and little bits of dust as they fall down from the sky. The path they take is determined supposedly by chance or something, you know, as they fall and uh, the wind blows them back up again and they fall some more and the wind blows them back up again and they fall some more and by the time they reach the ground they are as individual and unique as can be. Now, I don't know if anyone has ever measured every snowflake to see if the patterns repeat themselves. And I imagine that since infinity is really a, an unimaginably large thing, there must be a point where repetition occurs. Uh, you know, just like any standard system, if you roll the dice enough times, if, even if you have a trillion dice, you're going to wind up getting the same numbers a few times. But nonetheless, they're very individual. And so are we, made of the same stuff, all made out of water, vapor, and dust. It's pretty much what we're made out of too, a little bit of salt. Anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching. God bless you all.